Welcome to another YouTube video. So in this video, we'll be talking about affiliate clubs and football manager mobile. So affiliate clubs is a controversial topic when it comes to this game because some feel it's um like inadequate. I agree with that statement, but I still find it as useful. So when it comes to affiliate clubs, I'll, they can be helpful. But I'll just talk about the basics to start. First of all, to acquire affiliate, you have to just go to, once again, manager, board, request, acquire affiliate. And see, they've agreed here. And I'll show you. So when it comes to reserve teams, they can be helpful. Like I have a Polish club. But the issue is they give you random places. So, And there's not many perks but if you're a smaller team um, being given affiliate club by a bigger team because there's... No back and forth action. It's usually you sending your players to them and them giving you nothing back. Whereas on Football Manager Touch or Football Manager on the PC, um, there's usually these um clauses where you can buy players for free of charge, or if one club offers um to buy one of their players, you can um match the bid, and then the player will decide which uh club to go with. So they can be helpful. I'll start by listing all the affiliate clubs once I'm able to find it. Um, so I believe when it starts, board, uh, it's usually finances and then here, affiliates. So as you can see, I'm a Polish league. Uh, uh, no, not Polish, but Portuguese league team. But I have very low quality players, so I have like these youth players who are five star potential, but they're not gonna want to go to any of these clubs like Morecambe. How is that gonna help them? So I think when it comes to affiliate clubs, you can uh, it needs to be improved by a lot. I have a third division Turkish team, third division Portuguese, second division Polish team, and a sixth tier English team, which doesn't help at all. So to get into the basics, I'll just show once again, let's say this player, a region. All you need to do is go to the normal transfer area and then loan, you could normally, or you can go affiliates. So let's say I'm going to try my luck with him going to Poland. As you can see here, a lot of players don't want to move. So maybe there should be an option that's added in next year's or a patch where they allow you to choose um, if it's a higher um, level team you want to affiliate with or a lower level, if it's in the same division or abroad. That's a huge issue because I have these quality players who don't want to go to any of these teams. So I'll talk about the pros now. So first of all, the pros is you can ensure that you get some of your players on loan because sometimes when you just do a normal loaning process, it, you will get no offers at all. But with affiliate clubs, you can get play time for the players who don't get played as much, which is definitely a positive when it comes to another pro I'd say is you can also build up a team. You can't, even though you, you can't choose a top team to fill it with, you can still choose to, um, you can still build a team by giving them all your loanies, especially if you're a club who's in a lower division with not all top class players. That's a pop pro. Another pro I'll say, um, well, besides playing time, and ensuring loans is once again it's getting closer to um the better versions of the game mobile shouldn't be complex like these versions but we need some um we need some new things um we need to have some similar aspects just more simplified for the players who just don't know much about the game but want a quick football game to play um, so that's good, all these. So cons, first of all, you can't loan out high quality players unless you do the normal loan system, which even then is not helpful because it's rare. 
to get. Um, another con is you're not able to choose what which league or what team you want. Just like friendlies, you should be able to get a list of teams looking for affiliates. So when you look when it comes to fixtures, you should be allowed to, like here, there's A-league teams who want to play. You should be allowed something similar as that when it comes to affiliate clubs, choosing who you want to affiliate with. And that'll help you in the grasps of quality. Also, I think when it comes to affiliate clubs, I think definitely they should be, as you're affiliating with them, they should be able to produce their own talent or own players who you could take a risk on. Even though it may not be in the database, these leagues, you could come out with a few players who you could go after. Another con... I'd say is once again more it's very generic mode when it comes to mobile sometimes being too generic is poor for the game and puts people off the game so I've seen like opinions through discord or on facebook or through forums of this game some people really like it while others hate it I only see I see the positives of I see both sides of the spectrum I think there needs to be a middle ground where you're able to choose who you want to affiliate with. And another con I'd say definitely when it comes to it, you can't get rid of affiliates at all. And that's a real issue when it comes to the game. You're not able to remove any of these teams from your affiliate list. And then you get spammed with lower quality teams. So let's go see. And see here affiliate link but it's with Northampton who are once again a six tier team which is why this system needs to be fixed and then if I and that's not gonna be helpful at all so that's what this is just a little like ramble but talk about affiliates so basically for any users looking to um, use affiliates board request acquire affiliate that's all you need to do. Go here to the menu, manager, board request, acquire affiliate. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Anyways, have a great day, everyone. This is just a quick video on the topic of affiliate clubs.